Thank you, Vero, for the tag, and shouts out to Flash. We've actually got a sponsored segment for this video as well, so before we read this special message, please may I have a moment of your attention. By the way, big thanks to King God Castle for sponsoring this video. King God Castle is an auto-battle defense game with cute pixel art, awesome character illustrations, and an auto-battle system with many tactical options available. Personally, there are times when I love having an auto-battler game on one screen, or my phone, as I watch anime episodes on another screen. If you haven't tried an auto-battler game before, you might really enjoy adding one into your rotation and this one is perfect for a variety of players from very casual options to much more in-depth tactical points for players who would like to go even deeper into the game, including over 30 characters for players to utilize as they progress through, and even the ability to merge characters in the stage to max level. And this is a great time to jump in and log in game, as the second anniversary of King God Castle has just hit, and you can get a new hero scroll during this event. So consider hopping in and having a great time, with the link in the description and or pinned comment. Alright, let's check this out. A special message from Hajime Izayama. To the fans of the Attack on Titan manga and anime, Attack on Titan was heavily influenced by Hollywood, movies, TV shows, and American culture, so I am excited to meet fans from the place where I've always dreamed of going. I am aware that the ending of Attack on Titan was quite controversial. I am open to receiving people's honest opinions. However, I would appreciate it if you'd be kind to me. I am both hopeful and anxious about coming to anime in New York City, but I am certainly looking forward to it. From Hajime Izayama. Wow, as an American, I gotta say, just absolutely pathetic that people feel the need to make like statements before they come to the u.s essentially being like yo i'm gonna be at an anime convention y'all are crazy please don't harass me like <laughs> that's how i read that message basically man that is pathetic by the way let me be clear i'm not saying he's pathetic i'm saying it's pathetic that people in the u.s act so crazy that a japanese man got to make a disclaimer like that before he comes to the states to do a convention appearance First response, hot take, but it's kind of immature and unprofessional for Izayama to ask if people are kind to him regarding the ending, despite how aware of the controversy it caused by being terrible. So what are you going to do, man? You're going to go to a convention, you're going to like harass the man, you're going to try to get physical with him or something? Like, what, do, what are you going to do to him at the convention? Oh yeah, it's so terrible, he asked people not to like harass him. I mean, like, I mean, is my take weird on this one, guys? Am I out of line here? Like, I, I, I... I I don't see, like, why, why do you want to even go to an anime convention to hate someone? Like, that doesn't even make sense. If, if you don't like Attack on Titan, why do you even want to meet Izayama? Like, just to hate him in person? Uh, well, you know, I find it a bit unlikely that these Twitter cops will even go in person to hate the guy. To be quite frank, oftentimes they don't got the confidence to actually back up what they say online. But on the assumption that they actually will, I mean, like, that's just weird, dude. You're being a weirdo. That Persona Hearts guy would also get a response from Haunter. Haunter saying, Huh? It doesn't matter how much you don't like a piece of work. You don't have the right to treat a creator badly because of it. There's nothing immature or unprofessional about asking people to treat you kindly. Here's some dude responding to Izayama, basically making some joke about wanting to pipe bomb him. Oh yeah, dude. So original and funny. Ha ha ha. Here's a response more similar to what I said earlier. Makes me extremely sad. I think and hope it'll be okay, but even still, it's depressing that he felt the need to say this in the first place. Feels like he's bracing himself for vitriol and negativity. Here's another positive take on his take. You know what I mean. So, at the very least, it seems like more people are positively receptive to the statement than negative about it. All I will say is he will be hearing from me. Bro, you literally sound like the person who's like, I gotta talk to the manager. How I'm doing is Ayama when I see him. Yeah, sure, except people who say stuff like that online are always the most spineless people in real life. And I'm not saying you have to like Attack on Titan, it's totally fine if you don't. I just think it's reasonable to, uh, to expect to not be harassed when you go to an anime convention to interact with your fans, dude, over, over an ending that people are upset with. I mean, like, what's next? Are people gonna harass mangakas over ships? Uh, you know what, I, yeah, that was a bad, that was a bad question, wasn't it? And I think it's fine to ask a question, maybe about the ending, if you're unhappy with it. The big difference between being like, hey, I'm just curious about this. Of course, if he doesn't want to go into it, I think it's also reasonable to not, like, not force him and to understand maybe he doesn't want to talk about some of that stuff. But, you know, it's fine, I guess, to try and ask a simple question. It's different than being like, yo, you suck, your, your writing's garbage, and I'm going to take a pipe bomb or whatever the heck these weirdos say. But I'm going to start rambling, so I think I'll wrap this up here. Let me know what you think about this topic in the uh, comments, and I'll see you there as well as tomorrow for the next segment.